Hi, good morning and welcome back to my channel. My name's Natalie and this is So Stitch So Nat. Um, you can find me on Instagram as So Stitch So. I'll put it up here. Um, today's Floss Tube 38 and the date is I think the 15th of March 2024. Um, I will apologise in advance. Our neighbours are moving out across the road so you may hear a little bit of banging kind of noises. Um, fair bit to talk about today. Um, no finishes, three new starts, two whips and March Madness. Um, so today I'll be posting the final matchup to see who goes through to potential finish. Now I say potential finish because one I could definitely get done the other one might be cutting it a bit fine um, I also still have some gift stitching to do um, and I will show you that first um, what I also want to say is hello and welcome if you're new or returning thank you for clicking on the video or coming back um, as a subscriber um, yeah <laughs> And thank you for any comments that were left on the last video. Uh, you will see the winner of that, that when I start talking about all the March Madness stuff. Um, so my first project today is um, Birthstone series. So I was just trying to get rid of the thread. Um, Birthstone series um, diamond by Northern Needlework Expressions. Um, this is where I'm up to. So I've beaded this part, um, but I haven't beaded the other corners yet. I was going to whip round in the middle. Um, so just about to finish that last section of, I think they're Sumerian crosses. I really must learn the names. Um, but yeah, really liking this. Uh, I don't think I connected up all the borders last time we saw it, um, but I definitely beaded that section. So I don't know if the light's catching the crystals or not, it's hard to tell. Maybe a little bit. Um, so Swarovski bicones in there and then um, Mayuka um, I would say crystal beads, I can't quite remember. Um, so that's why I'm up to with that. My other project that wasn't March Madness, sorry I haven't unzipped everything, just realised that. Um, it's a cell that I'm doing with um, Sal Queens, so um, Belushi Stitches and Emma X Stitching. Uh, which is Home and the Needle Worker 2. Oops, sorry about the glare. Um, so it's a nice easy stitch to do when the kids are swimming on a Sunday. And so I've now finished part one, which was the house. I'm currently working on the words uh, which are part two um, and then part three will be the vine and um, the border which are top and bottom. Um, what I will say is what I liked about the pattern was the variegation in the house um, but my blue jeans isn't that variegated in fact the last few skeins I've had aren't that variegated but it's a gorgeous colour so I've kept with it. Um, it's looking a little bit more mottled in this light. Um, but I've stitched that one stitch at a time rather than um, zooming backwards and forwards and I can never remember which way around it is, whether it's the Dutch or the English method. Um, so that's where I'm up to with that one. Uh, so that's due to finish at the end of April. It's a small stitch so it's doable. That house took a long time and I only started it about halfway through March, February, February. <laughs> um, so yeah, just, just about caught up. Right, next, I can find my list. 
I forgot to show you my um, planner last time. I haven't put any stickers in March actually. I've stitched every day so far in March, just about. Although you'll see some of the. Uh, that's February. I've got a couple of no stitchy days in February. And then March, I've had a couple of very short stitchy sessions, so I've just done like two stitchy sessions on some of the March Madnesses. And you'll see I've crossed some stuff out because I realised I'd written it in the wrong colour. Hey ho. Um, so I normally use red for new starts and blue for whips and realised I hadn't written it down properly. Um, so the first pair on March Madness were My Christmas List by Silver Creek Samplers and Merry Xmas. Yeah, which is a pattern off Etsy. So this is my Christmas list. I'm stitching it on a 36 count country vintage mocker, one strand over two. I must admit, I set the goal and then I looked at it and went, that's more than I thought it was left. I'd love to get this finished. So that's where I'm at with it. Sorry about the crinkles. It's been in hoops, it's been in the hand, it's been on a cue snap, it's been everywhere. Um, but it's all the call for DMC. This candy cane was causing me no end of bother. I've had to frog it about four or five times, so hopefully I've got it right now. Hence all the dangling threads, I didn't do one thread at a time. Um, and the bird was a little bit, dove was a little bit difficult on this fabric as well in the evening just light on light um, so I'm more than just over halfway it's the peppermint sticks are like I say just over halfway so still a long way to go on this but it will definitely come out again uh, for whip go and Christmas in July I'm like getting out and just finishing off that candy cane so I don't come back to it. <laughs> Might be a plan. It's like always rip out the stitches you've done wrong and then come back to it. Although sometimes you can't find what you've done wrong, can you? That's when the, the fudging comes in, I think. Um, so next, so that was the Christmas round and then I called the next round Let's get it finished, um, which was the Lion Witch in the Wardrobe, which was by Stitching Book Club. Unfortunately, this is no longer available because it was a limited run only. Um, I'm stitching this on a 32 count Belfast linen in snow um, with a couple of substitutions on the DMC because when I started, I didn't have everything. Um, yeah, it was a couple of years ago when the world went crazy. Um, so that's where I'm up to. This is what it'll look like. So I have just finished that top section, which is part one of the cell. Part two is a band across the middle. And then part three, which I'm actually looking forward to. Um, yeah. So it's on the whip go board to finish a part. Obviously, I know I've finished part one, but part one was largely done anyway. So I really want to finish part two when that gets called, um, which it hasn't yet. The other one was Strawberry Fields, so I've just got a basket with a stick in. There's lots of hanging threads on this. Actually, there's not as many as there was. There was about five or six of them on the other side. Um, this is seen frog a couple of times as well. Um, so, this is what it'll look like. I must admit this is getting a little bit 
not battered, but it, yeah, probably needs to come out of the project bag. There's not much else in it. Um, and that's where I'm up to. So, so I've got the pot, the rest of that, the bird, the pot. I'm going to say flag, but I think it's quite a flag. The rest of the plant to do. Um, and then I need to decide if I'm going to put an initial in there and then there's a year coming down here as well. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet. Um, but they have provided letters and numbers. Um, so you can choose what you want to do. Um, and this is on a 32 count flax linen. Um, with mainly the call for. I think I made one substitution for red brick um which i couldn't get hold of was it red brick there was definitely one of the reds i couldn't get hold of and i had ended up substituting it um old brick that's it um, i can't remember what i substituted it for but once it's all finished, I'll definitely let you know and I'll put an Instagram post up as well. Um, so, <laughs> I just realised I've not told you who won each round. Um, so in the last, the Christmas round, Christmas list went through. And on this round, this one, I went through. And then, so it was Christmas list and this. And this went through. So this is in the final, I was going to say semi-final, this is in the final, that's it, I'm about to post the semi-final, not the final, oh man, <laughs> yeah, I've not kept up, well, I've, I've done each round, but I've not done it necessarily on the days I'd originally planned, so I've slowed it down slightly. Which is fine, um, and I love to vote as well. Although it, I'm not getting fed as much of those, so um, I don't know. I'm just not following enough people that do do it, or there's less participation this year. I don't know, but I I really enjoy it, um, and I, like I say, I enjoy voting. Um, it doesn't have to be all new starts, as you can see. I've got I've got three new starts out of eight. Two of them were left over from last year, so I kept them on. Um, but my plan is to, if they they didn't get through, so my plan is to try and finish them this year. I think I've got them on both on my whipgo board for a finish this year. So one way or another, they'll get finished. Um, next was Stitch All The Things, which was a new start. Um, I'm doing this on a 32 count vintage sand dune um, my own conversion to classic colour works because I had the club why not um, so this is my second Erica Michaels obviously the sampler book is Erica Michaels as well I norm normally show I haven't got it to show today unfortunately um, so that's what that looks like so I have so this side is a berry. I literally have to tie off these threads and then um, some more of this green colour just to swoosh <laughs> along there, and then that's done. And then I started the cushion, so that looks like that. So they're they're fairly quick stitches. Um, I've never done a berry before, and I haven't got the wool. I've got the uh, Lady Dot Create so and the buttons. I just haven't got the wool felt. So um, yeah. And I haven't decided on this fabric either. Yeah. 
whether I will get an FFO if it gets if this one gets through this, um, let me show you the one first <laughs> so this was up against um, Six What You Love by Jeanette Douglas which looks like this and there's remove of an outside <laughs> Uh, it's funny, at swimming no one flinches but if I'm sat in the living room because I've got big bay windows at the front of the house I get a bit not nervous, I don't know people staring even if you're not doing a video um, so when I pick this up so this is on a 40 count cream linen Newcastle linen, that's why I got. Um, I literally just put a couple of bits of leaves in here, so I've taken this up now. Um, I'm doing it in all the call for, but you could easily get away with doing this, especially on 40 count without, apart from maybe the, the flowers. Um, So yeah, so that's what it will look like. So I've got halfway, like I say. The wording doesn't take very long. It's just not carrying the thread. I had to frog as well on this. I started putting the wee in the wrong place. And I know that one will cause debate. It's staying as it is. <laughs> Is it two words or is it one word? A lot. <laughs> um, so that went up against Stitch All The Things. Um, and Stitch All The Things went through. Um, next round was New To Me. Even though doing a strawberry is new to me. I love the pattern so much I wanted to stitch it. I left it in anyway. Um, so New To Me... I picked up a kit a few years ago uh, on holiday, um, which was this little little box. I didn't realise how little. <laughs> um, but it'll be cute. It'll be cute. Dainty and cute. Um, there's a stitching on. So yeah, so that's all of the side. I've got the flowery bits do it's upside down but you can't tell um, and that will be the box lid and then the inside and the bottom it's just like um it's a nice blue linen actually you could easily stitch on that as well um and then there's a the linen so the idea is that you put what's it going so that's all stitched one over one on a 18 count Ada. Which funny enough it isn't normally my preference but it's working. So yeah the lid top is that size. So that you wrap it around this and sew it all together. Um, there is metallic in there as well. Um, obviously I've not stitch it all yet but there's not a huge amount of thread because it's not a very big project um but yeah enjoying that how to do a smearing cross stitch um yeah so i think i definitely think i'll probably finish that this year um, but I think I'll, I'll put it down for now. Like I say, it's not a big project. It's quite, um, once you get the pattern, it's quite, like, repetitive. So it should stitch up in no time, really. Um, so the other new start, and new to me, was the Luca S kit. And it was Lolly that won. Um, against Lulu. So Lolly went through, 
um, I had a couple of people comment on my Instagram, uh, one person comment on my Instagram post, I like this one too, so it's three to one, yeah, I had another vote yesterday for the other one, but so, um, so that's what it looked like when it's done, that, I mean, that's a, that looks like a computer generated image, um, This is where I'm up to. Sorry, it's been in a heap. Pardon me. Literally working on this last night and this morning. I meant to sort out those threads, sorry. <laughs> um, but yeah, his face is coming along nicely. Um, that's almost the top of his head. Um, her head, even. Um, and I plan on leaving the red till last because I like the red. Um, so I'll come down here, do in here and then all the red bits. Um, you can't see on this pattern but there are stars on the outside. Um, yeah, so I will, I will stitch those. I had the thought this morning I might use metallic, possibly, don't know. Um, but that's going against stitch all things. I say that'll be that'll go up today and I'll stitch on strawberry fields forever tonight and then when I've got the winner of the semi-final I can stitch on that and then I can put the two up and then Sunday I should have a finalist yeah Sunday should be the I put that live Either Sunday or Monday will be the final and then that'll be the one that's aiming to get all all finished and FFO'd but uh, that's still quite a lot of stitching on that. Um, so like I say, strawberry, strawberry fields and stitch all the things, I think I could finish that one, not so much. Um, in terms of the Luca S kit, like it, like the needle, like the um so i'll put the other one over there or oh, the thread cards although not my i'd rather use flush jobs i think it's my normal like first preference and then mm, yeah it's torn between foss cards and bobbins um i think it turns on the foss card in fact, I think I would go frost card over bobbin. Um, the pattern. I'm showing, the pattern is massive. I mean, I would say the squares are almost five millimeters square in diameter. Um, so yeah. In fact, it was so big, I ended up having to make a working copy and colour it in as I went along because the box. The box is going to be big. It's not something you hear all the time. Uh, yeah. But really easy stitch. Um, not always an evening stitch though, because to see the like the cream and the white on it's like a pewter coloured fabric. I don't know if it's coming across on the screen. Um and I just realised I've missed one, which is right back at the start, so I'll come with you again. Um, so this is um, Merry Christmas, you Both the Animal, which didn't get through. This was a chart on Etsy. That's what it looked like when it's done. This is where I want to. I did toy with the idea. This is 1 over 1 on 25 count Ligana. Can't remember the colourway. It's like a platinum creamy kind of colour. Um, I did debate changing the pattern. Um, potentially to make it a little bit smaller. Can't decide on that. Um, because the idea was to make it into like um, a Christmas ornament. I've not got actually that much more to go. So I've got the trees at the bottom and then the top border. 
maybe I'll persist with the uh, with it. And I've got a pattern, which is a flat one. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's March Madness. Uh, so like I say, oops, that's where I'm up to. What have I got next? Um, so I wanted to talk a little bit about chatelaines. Um So Kitschy Whips and Fibre Arts Amy um, do a chatelaine Wednesday. Unfortunately, I'm not able to participate on a Wednesday um, due to other commitments. Um, if you know me, you know it's Scouts. Um, so I don't get the chance to stitch on a Wednesday um, and I tend to stitch on it when I've kind of got like a good chunk of time and it's quiet which doesn't happen all that often um, but I want to get my chatelaine out and just show you guys I haven't worked on it since the last time you saw it which was the last frost you because I think I worked on it for my birthday there might have been one in between um, so this is evening in the park on a 32 count country vintage mocker and I literally this morning have just changed the frame it was sitting on a big Q snap um, but I wasn't enjoying it the Q snap was too big and obviously this is going to get bigger and then you've got I'm not going to put the crystals on like the big chunky crystals till the end um, and I didn't want anything getting crushed. Um, I think it would have just about fit in. What would it have done? No, I think I would have breached the edges at some point. Um, so I've now swapped it to. It's actually a clip on LB's frame. It's not the one I got last time. It's the one that was housing my Merabelia, which is now on the QSNAT over there, <laughs> um, which fits top to bottom but not side to side. Um, so eventually it'll come back on here um, but it's fine I can get three ladies done while it's in the queue snap um, and then the fourth will have to be done on here because I want to be to go along with that one um, if you haven't seen Belushi Stitches she's done Chatelaine Chronicles on this project it's amazing she's finished it well done Joe. um yeah do you make me want to get out <laughs> stitch on it um so yeah shout out for Chatelaine Wednesday um don't be intimidated by it just learn as you go um there is one tiny fudge if you can if you know what it is don't tell me <laughs> um I had to make one substitution for one Gloriana. Um, Maggie's latest video um, also said about the length of Gloriana silk being shorter than what Martina had designed when she created the design. So I don't know if I'm going to come up short on anything. I need to check that. Um, I know Joe got quite close on this. Uh, it's a stable which is one she got close on um yeah i'm still on part one of this i think there's 10 parts all together um the other person has been stitches for some time is Teresa little stitcher both joe and Teresa, kitschy whips and fire arts amy great channels to watch recommend going and viewing those um if you like chastelaines, marabelias, um, Jo does other stuff as well but she started the first chatelaine and was hooked um, and she's one of the South Queens as well. Um, so hey, happy birthday to Chatelaine Wednesday. Um, what did I also want to say? Um, whip go. 
So I've com out of the six numbers that have been called, I've completed two blocks. But one of them is Strawberry Fields, so if that gets through, I could have another one. <laughs> um, the other one is Victorian Charm. I wanted to complete a window on that. Uh, Pinky and Death, which is like a Terry Pratchett um, cross stitch. That was work on it for five days. And then the Jingle Bell block, which is still in the naughty corner. <laughs> <laughs> just because it was giving me issues um, the frog came to visit on multiple occasions and I just I, yeah <laughs> um, so I've got those plans are kind of on hold but the main plans are the gift stitching which is diamond birthstone I need to do a card to go with that um, needle worker haven't done my block on Charmander this month yet. Haven't done the sampler book letter yet. Um, and I'm also haven't done my homework for Stitcher Pride. I haven't stitched that yet, although it would be great. I haven't picked out a thread or I've got the fabric because I've stitched them all together, but I haven't got a um thread picked out for that. Um so yeah, that's that's plans really. Lots of stitching. <laughs> Hi, this is Editing Natalie. I've packed everything away, but um, I thought I'd just come back on here. Um, I forgot to mention um, All the Kits April sale, which is being hosted by Lindsay of Blushing Pink Stitches, um, which is basically a sale to get all your kits out and work on them in the month of April. Um, she's given us a few different options. She's given us a 9x9 bingo board, or there is a 4x4 bingo board, or... Um, there's like an acrostic one as well. Um, if you like the idea, pop along to her channel. Um, she's done a dedicated video for it. Um, I've put on mine Aurora Cabin, uh, which is the big dimensions that I started for the Leap Day dimension sale. Um, the dog kit, which I'm stitching for someone who doesn't stitch anymore. Um, Christmas Cafe, which was the Stitch Along, hosted by um, Liz Matthews from Hello by Liz Matthews from Liz Matthews. Um, Victorian Charm, which is a dimension kit I've had on the go for a while. Cherry Blossom, which was a new dimensions kit, which I started before Aurora Cabin, um, but this year. Lolly Penguin, if it doesn't get called or doesn't get finished, if... Um, for March Madness. If it does get finished for March Madness, um, I'll substitute a Mill Hill kit in there. Um, either Love Love, Love Coffee, or I've got like a little lizard. Um, then there's a Keepsake Box, Darth Vader, um, which is a project that I'm doing for my son, who's asking where it is. Um, and Hello Sunshine, which is a Caterpillar Cross Stitch kit. Um, I substituted the fabric out of that, um, but it was a sale quite a few years ago. Um, believe it or not, that is all the kit projects I have currently on the go. Um, like I say, I only plan to start something new if Lolly goes through to the end of March Madness uh, and doesn't get finished. Um, don't know. I might. I might reward myself with a little Mill Hill start if I do all nine. Um, we shall see. But it's another way to um, get some progress on my charts. Bye. Thank you. Um, but obviously we've got Easter coming up at the end of the month, so might just get a few goals hit before the end of the month. Um, next is haul. If you don't want to stick around for haul, that's fine. Thank you and I will see you next time. If you like what you see, like and subscribe. Um, and I will see you next time. I should have a drink. <laughs>
coffee crust fabric so five pounds off and i chose this gorgeous piece which came in it's getting a little bit blown out yeah it's definitely getting blown out um i'm trying to think what it reminds me of there's definitely someone that's been holding up this fabric and i can't remember how it it was well, a couple of years ago it's like it's really like a like a stone wash bluey gray <laughs> it's hard to describe um haven't decided what i'm stitching on that yet um and obviously can't fold it back up either <laughs> Uh, and that is a 28 count even weave. Um, I actually need to stitch on some of my... Because I keep getting the 28 even weave knowing that it shrinks slightly. And I didn't want a 32 count that then shrunk. So I went for the 28. So I need to stitch something. Um, what else have I got? Um... I've got my Nashville haul and I've got a mm, this Mrs Fisher stitches Mrs Fisher yeah saw it on a channel No, my dad likes koi carp went and got it um, that's how I, was, I don't think yeah I hadn't even started the penguin before I'd got this um, there is lots of threads it's full coverage. Um, actually, I've got two different sized um, boards as well. It comes with like a beige that looks like it's sort of like pre gridded. Um, it's a 16 count Ada. And it's got uh, two strands full cross, one and two strand back stitch. Um, and that was just off Amazon um, but was supplied by Hobby Jobby um, so yeah it's got the thing for that I've not ordered from Hobby Jobby actually um, but you can now get the Luca S Flosses by themselves or like packs of them I've seen them on um, I've seen them on Amazon uh, and I think Hobby Jobby's website. I could be wrong about that. Um, so yeah, thanks Lizzie. I look forward to stitching that. <laughs> um, so I didn't get so enabled by other people. Um, speaking of enablement, I've had this on my wish list forever um, and finally pulled the trigger and ordered two things from traditional stitches over in Canada. Couldn't get them anywhere else. Um, so that is Cardinal Points. So it's by the designer that does Long Dog, um, which is a Julia Line, but it's not a Long Dog sample. You can't get it on her website. Um, you can only get it in, I believe you can only get it in paper copy because it was a Gentle Arts collaboration. Um, my plan is not to stitch in gentle arts um, but come up with my own DMC conversion um, I don't think some of the colours translate so I at some point will pull it all out and have a look at it this arrived on the 1st of March can you believe it <laughs> hey ho I will wait four years and I will stitch it then um, if I can I'm getting very tempted but I've got another one that's big and lots of colour. You'll see in a second. Um, so yeah, looking forward to doing that. I haven't decided on fabric yet. Definitely will be a white. The other one um, that I couldn't see find anywhere um, is with thy needle and thread. Um, so you have just fudge it and carry it on. <laughs> I just absolutely love the frock and the sentiment. Um, so yeah, that will get done. 
when it gets done I'm not sure um, it's in a mixture of thread so one DMC one weeks one classic colour works and one gentle arts I don't think I need that many different ones um, yeah um, yeah so I might substitute a little bit there I'm not sure depends what I've got in stash um, and it was stitched on a piece of 32 count so it's about um, 8 and 3 quarters by 13 and a quarter so I've not chosen what I'm doing that on yet I wonder whether to make it a bit more diddy um, hmm, maybe we shall see um, I've only ordered twice from traditional stitches and had no problems whatsoever. Um, the shipping was reasonable. A little bit more than you would on one, two, three stitch, but still not. I think it was like twelve Canadian dollars. Um, yeah, twelve Canadian dollars. Um, which is less than ten pounds, I think. Um, so it's affordable yeah, if it's something you really want and can't get anywhere else. Um, so yeah, happy with that. Um, Nashville. So I did my main order from Peakside here in the UK. Um, she said, she was like, oh, thank you. Yeah, I'll do my best. She got everything better. Great service. Um, invoice came in, paid straight away. Got it really quickly. Um, and that is not that order. That is the other order. So I committed to these before the last video. And in terms of what I've bought since the last video, I technically my one, two, three order is since the last video. And um, so with Peakside, I pre-ordered American Blue by October House Fiber Arts. I just love the blue. I love just love it. Um. That is actually oh it's weeks blue um, blue jeans rather than classic colour works blue jeans. But just absolutely love that. Um Lindy Stitches, it's now this was a retreat chart kit now available um in its own right. Um just love the the whale, everything about it. Um, I want to stitch that. Um, I also got the blue flower bees in the garden. Um, so it stitches up all those bits. Um, I got Michelle Bendy's um, Needle Heathen Biscornia. I was hoping not to do any editing and then the phone rings. Never rings <laughs> and it rang good. Um, what was I up to? Um, yeah I was just showing you Michelle Bendy's Needle Heathen. Um, she shows it on her market releases video which I can't remember which number that is. If I can find it I'll put it below. Um, but it's on the little arms it's got like 28 size needle and then you spin it around it's got 26 24 and i don't know um i'm a bit of a needle heathen myself whatever feels good but generally speaking i was using a lot of 28 i seem to be edging towards 26 these days um unless it's 14 count and then i use 24. um i might change the colouring but I like the design itself so 
um, that came here with me and Plum Street Samplers Proverbs 31 Sampler um, and it says she seeketh wool and flax and worketh willingly with her hands um, I just have the black swan, the stag, the flowers, the house. I seem to have a thing about houses. Definitely turning into a house stitcher. Um, so that's a mixture of DMC Classic Colour Works and Weeks. Quite a few of those I've already got, so it should be an easy one. I haven't got the R and R Productions fabric, but I'm sure I can find something that will work. Um, I also wanted um, decide last minute that I really wanted it. Um, so I actually decided to put a one, two, three stitch order in. Um, oh, best of peaks idea. Um, so I picked up three, two, four. Uh, works by ABC. I will be stitching it with all 324 colours of DMC. Um, there is an alternate to do it as a 36 colours, um, but I like this one. Um, just be aware there is a chart correction. Um, I'll put the video, her video number below, um, if you want to go and. Uh, she tells you on there I've made a note of it in my chart as well um, but it comes like there's one big pattern and then it's like grid um, to tell you what colour to which which one which one it is <laughs> um, so I was thinking about doing that on this 40 count fabric which I bought ages and ages ago two, uh, one over two And it's definitely big, it's 100 by 140. I was going to do the massive Pokemon on it and then decided I don't like stitching that small. Um, and this was like, mm, yeah, three or four years ago. So I think I'm ready. Um, I'd like to do that. And then um, if that works out all right, I'll probably kick this up with a white 40 count as well. Um, it's just a Verdal Vid white even weave. Um, and of course, it can't travel alone. And I've had things on my wish list for ages. I picked up RETM, which I'm also thinking about doing 40 count. One over two. Um, and it's just four skeins of a DMC colour. Off you go. Absolutely, I love the colour, I love the turtle, can't wait. Um, and I also picked up another block which is Java. So I've got a brown in my stash that I think will work with this. Um, so yeah, um, I thought why not, I'll do Java next. Um, well, I've not opened this, um, but I also got the Just Another Company pins to go with it, we see them a bit better on here um, so yeah and it comes with the wool as well on that one so that is it for how bought any PDF patterns um, I did look at my stitch from stash and not cry but I was like hmm need to rein it in need to rein it in. I've had one finish this year. <laughs> need to rein it in. Um, there's quite a few things that are close to a finish so yeah it's not going to cover the deficit though. Um, I'm a little bit rumly so I'm going to go. I hope you all have a good day, good week, get some stitching in. I find it very relaxing so hopefully you do too. Um, bye for now. See you next time. Bye.